Can you make thousands to even tens of thousands of dollars every single month with running a simple blog? Well, today we're gonna find out. We're gonna start a blog ourselves, upgrade it, talk to a blogging expert, and purchase several articles from Fiverr sellers in order for them to actually write the blog articles for us in hopes of us to start making some of that sweet passive money from our blog website. So, let's get started. First, is it even possible for a person like you or me to create a blog to make thousands of dollars per month? According to the blogging expert Ricky from the YouTube channel Income School, it is very possible. Ricky has over 7 years of blogging experience and has done over 20 blog sites. With my personal interview with Ricky, we learned that a blog with at least 100 articles can on average make about $2,400 every single month and that ranges from about $400 on the low end up to $7,000 with a small handful of people even making over $12,000 a month from 100 blog posts and it only goes up from there. Once you automate the whole process, there's people even making over $50,000 every single month. So now that we know it's very possible to make great money from a blog and even replace your full 9 to 5 job, it's now time to start a blog. So our first step is actually to create a blog website. I started a very simple blog about side hustles and personal finance about a year ago. Overall, it was extremely basic. I only had a couple blog posts from old YouTube videos of mine that were turned into blog articles. At the beginning, I only received about 27 views for the first 8 months or so. And of course that meant I didn't make any money from the ads. So I figured I needed to upgrade the blog website and make it look a lot cleaner and easier for the viewers to navigate. Luckily that's where Fiverr helped me out and I was able to find someone to redo the whole blog website. Using Fiverr it's very simple to do. All you have to do is search in whatever project you want done and then there's a bunch of different freelancers that come up and you can easily see how much they're charging, what they actually are able to do and the different reviews from other people who have used the freelancer in the past. After doing some research, I came across the freelancer DevX Tech, who had some fantastic reviews and seemed very capable of redesigning our Wix website for our blog. He also charged a very fair price and offered three different packages. I ended up going with the standard package that allowed us to customize up to four different pages and to customize different aspects of the actual blog and the Wix website. Purchasing a project on Fiverr is very easy to do. Once you locate the seller and the package you want to go with, all you have to do is continue to the payment method and after you make your payment, all you have to do is enter in some simple information or questionnaires in order to help the freelancers get started with a project. And now I have to say it looks 10 times better. This is what the new and improved blog looks like. Overall, I have to say it looks like a night and day difference and it's much cleaner and simple to navigate the website. The Fiverr Freelancer also had some great ideas with being creative when it came to the footer and header. I thought it was very simple and it made the whole website and blog just flow together and I definitely would have not have thought about this myself so overall I'm very happy with the services. And at this point, sadly I still wasn't earning any money for my ads. The next step was uploading good quality blogs in order to increase the views and start earning some of that sweet ad revenue. So I reached out to about 9 different sellers on Fiverr in order to create good quality content for articles for anything related to side hustles to personal finance. After I received all of the articles, I made the format the same and published them to our blog. Overall, I thought that the articles we received from the Fiverr freelancers were pretty good. Additionally, it was very easy to communicate with the different freelancers on writing the articles on different topics they have. I was also able to give them different feedback if I wanted them to update the articles, say to add a different conclusion or if I wanted them to add a new paragraph. They were very responsive to my feedback and made the updates right away. The articles we received they were well thought out and interesting for other readers to learn more from and would be a great way to get a spark of an idea for a side hustles for them to try themselves. There was one seller in particular that I thought did an incredible job and charged a super fair price. So I decided to buy 12 additional articles from her. In total we ended up buying 21 articles from the freelancers on Fiverr. All in all I thought the freelancers from Fiverr provided extremely good quality deliverables on all the different projects we had hired out. 
The freelancers were also very creative when it came to the different topics for the articles and also the way they designed the Wix website, which I probably wouldn't have thought about these different topics or little implements and features with the articles if I would have just done it myself. If you are interested in starting a blog for yourself or just want to take a look at the other services Fiverr has to offer, please check out the link down below in the description box and use the promo code to save 10% off your first order. The final step was to turn on the Google Ads for my website and see how much of the sweet money we would be making in ad revenue. According to my interview with the blogging expert Ricky, we would need at least 100 articles to make on average about $2,400 a month. So that leaves us where we are today. We're in the process of getting to that target 100 blog posts but as of right now, we're about a third of the way with only 28 articles. The big question that everyone wants to know, how much did we make so far from the ad revenue from our blog and articles? So drum roll please, we made a grand total of four cents. Now the ad revenue we received so far is nothing to be proud of, but it's also not a complete waste of time either. It shows that we're on the right path and we have a great base to build upon with especially a well-designed blog website, format and sources for our articles, and shows that the ads are working. I also think this shows realistic results with starting a new blog. There's too many times online you see someone start a side hustle and claim you can start making an insane amount of money right away, but blogging is a slow and long grind. You can eventually turn that into a great semi-passive income each month by sticking with it and automating the process. I hate to say make sure to check out the second part of the series, but blogging takes time for your website to build and to gain an audience with coming up in the Google searches. According to an interview with Ricky, it usually takes about 24 months to see a good source of income from blogging. And that's also with staying consistent and uploading good quality content over that time. And that's exactly what we plan to do for the next 6 to 12 months. We will continue to purchase articles through Fiverr in addition to writing articles ourselves for the most of the videos we're gonna release on YouTube to make even more blog content. Make sure to subscribe and follow along for the journey to see how much money we will end up making with starting a blog and if I would actually recommend for you to start a blog for yourself. So continue to watch for the second series coming soon. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. If this video brought you any kind of value, please make sure to subscribe and share the video. Feel free to check out all my other videos about different side hustles that I have personally tried and to learn more about personal finance. I'll see you guys in the next one and this is Kevin, your financial tutor, signing off. Peace.